Hi everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life and I'm here today with the revisiting post for Scrapping for Less. Today I'm going to be revisiting the Flavor of the Month card kit from January 2018. Now this card kit is sold out so you cannot get it, but I like to go back and revisit some of the things that I already have. So if you've purchased this kit, it's kind of a fun project that we're doing with this. So what you received in this kit, this was back when they had just the double dip and the banana split, so it's kind of the same as it is now. In collection one for the double dip Sunday, you received Crazy for Coffee by Your Next Stamp, Coffee with Friends by Deep Bread, Enamel Dots, Mrs. Grossman's 30 Coffee and Donut Stickers, and Kennedy Gray Sequence. Collection 2 ingredients includes Cream and Sugar by Doodlebug Designs, Need Coffee by Pink and Main, which is the stamp that I end up using for this. I have used most of my products, so I didn't have papers and stuff left. Um, a Half Icon Sticker Sheet, Coffee and Donut Clips by Doodlebug, and Kennedy Gray Sequence. Collection 3 included Homespun by My Favorite Things Paper, Perk Up by The Greeting Farm Stamp Set, Donut Flake Stickers, Donut or Coffee Clip by Paper House Studio, and Kennedy Grace Sequins. The Collection 4 ingredients included High Five by We Are Memory Keepers Paper, Cool Beans by Avery L. Stamp Set, Twins or twins, twine, flowers, and Kennedy Grace sequins. You receive eight sheets of eight and a half by eleven cardstock and four envelopes. This month is the month that they started using My Favorite Things cardstock, so that was the My Favorite Things cardstock there. The white cardstock was Nina 110 pound solar white cardstock that you received, and then as part of the banana split level. You received Chocolate Brown Ink Pad by Doris, Coffee Cup Shaker Card and Shaker Cup by Jelly Bean Soup, Cozy Coffee Dye by Paper Smooches, and Coffee Ring Stamp by Altenew. So that was everything that you received as part of this kit. Now for this, I colored with Copic markers as you can see and I showed you all of the markers that I used for this and I'm just doing like I said my basic Copic coloring trying to get some shadows in there leaving some highlights in the hairs um, or in the hair I love this stamp this is probably one of my fa all-time favorite stamps I love the lady with the rollers in her hair I think it's hysterical um, the other thing that I did use to make this card is Echo Park stencil that is called Coffee Dot Stencil. This was not part of the kit. This is something that I had received for a focus product for Scrapping for Less, and I used that. I did use my Scan and Cut to cut out the image, but I ended up just having that little pieces around the... Um, steam that is coming from the coffee that I wanted to cut out so I used my um, craft knife and then I just took a black marker and went all around the edges just to cover up the white kinda makes it little, a little bit more finished. Finished. I can't talk today I'm sorry. Um, like I said I just I like doing that I don't do it on all the cards it just kinda depends on what um, I'm making or how it's going to be focused now I used Mocha from Your Next Stamp, which I actually received in a different Flavor of the Month card kit. I, When I first made this card, I didn't realize it was the Doris pad because I have that one too that I could have used, but I did use this one that was from a different kit. So I cut out a piece of pale purple card stock with a die that I had sitting on my desk that's in a rectangle that's about three and three quarter inches by about two and a half inches to put the image on. The card base is a craft card base and then for the background panel that I made with the stencil I cut that down to four inches by five and a quarter. I adhere the image to towards the bottom of that rectangle shape and I stamped perk up on another 
piece from a die that was in that same set that I used that's an oval a stitched oval die and then I popped that up with some foam tape I then added um, let's see those are not clips what are those I don't know there it's like a kind of a, a button with a coffee pot that I end up adding to one corner and then the sentiment in the other corner and then I had some enamel dots from the kit that were in that brown color that I added to the card to finish it off. And that's it for today. So I hope you're enjoying these revisiting videos. Uh, make sure you check it out and stick around and check out a couple more videos that will be added on here at the end. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed this. Take care.